How's everybody doing today? Happy to have a little bit of a group here. Um, you may not know me, I'm a little bit newer to the industry. I snuck over from Canada now that the border's open, so I'm happy to be here. Um, I work with a company called FlexiJet North America. Um, we supply the FlexiJet 3D digital measuring device. Now in Canada, I was a freelance templator, which basically I go, I measure jobs, I submit the files to fabricators. This was for glass, this was for wood, this was for stone, but stone was our biggest business that I had. Um, then I had the opportunity to join this amazing company out of Germany that creates this product. And now I am in charge of North America as far as supplying people for measurements, connecting templators, or giving advice on jobs and how to measure them, as well as doing the support and training and things like that. So a little bit about us. Um, we had an early model in 2007. Um, the hardware is done by a company called Nido, uh, been family owned for 120 years in Germany. So it's very well known company over there, always dealing with uh, precision measuring devices. Our second generation launched in 2017 and we now have 4,000 devices worldwide in action in all different industries for measuring. Some of our more complicated uh, jobs are stair projects, and I'll be able to walk you through some examples and really wanna focus on the solutions that our product solves, since we are in the trends and solutions theater here. Um, software and hardware is done by both of our companies together, so it always works hand in hand. It's basically like using a, a measuring device right into AutoCAD for anybody that's familiar with that. We pride ourselves on our facility and the way that we calibrate the machine. One of the best things that I love about going to the factory in Germany to see it is we actually have a temperature controlled chamber that calibrates the unit. So whether I'm measuring outside in the snow or you know extreme heat, the measuring device is actually compensating for the expansion and contraction of the actual device itself. So we've got a lot of ingenuity put into our device to make sure it's always super, super precise. Some of the benefits of digital templating that I want to go through, if shops are not digital yet, we have solutions, whether it's using a plotter or not. Um, we're talking here more in general for countertops, for showers, for stone fixtures and items like that. So we have a much higher level of precision than using a tape measure. We're definitely going to be able to increase the productivity because you're able to measure, bring it right in, or even email that file over to have that file cut on a CNC machine. We're gonna easily template more complex jobs. I've got some really interesting jobs and some photos I'm gonna go through. Stone ceilings, wrapped showers, and entire bathrooms that we're doing in stone. And we wanna measure this in 3D, but we also wanna have all of our 2D files that we can go right to the fabricator with. Um, files can be emailed from the job site, like I said. Safer measuring, no ladders, no scaffolding. Um, even projecting out hardware locations to get those done at the same time to avoid some of the same scaffolding issues. Um, and of course, reduce on-site visits for multiple pieces. The amount of fabricators I talk to that go multiple times to the same job site for multiple pieces to me is just a lot of waste of money. So we want to educate our customers on how can you measure a full height backsplash and a countertop at the same time? How can you measure 30 pieces in a bathroom at the same time and have them all installed? So if anybody wants to see us in action, we do have a booth here. Uh, N506, where we do have a, a Schluter shower that we are doing some demonstrations on. If anybody wants to see, bring over a tape measure, you can check whatever you want as well. So our system is made a little bit different from some of our competitors. We have the ability to check the level of cabinets or walls. So especially when I'm doing showers and fireplaces, if I can know the high points on the wall and where they are, I can properly build all my mudding. Any tile guys, if I can give you a heat map of a wall and ask you to put a, a wall up for me of stone, large porcelain tile, anything like this, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. We have a lot of our fabricators that have wanted to move into thinner porcelain than their thicker material they're already using, and they're struggling with it. They're really frustrated with it because they can't get um, the levelness of the walls. You gotta use your level on the wall, you gotta use line lasers, and we want to avoid that. Again, we can measure countertops and full heights in one trip. We've got world-class measuring support and training. Anybody that is behind the lines in a supporter training capacity for me, I only hire people who have been measuring in the industry. So our support is measurement support. You're getting somebody actually on the phone who can log in, control our system, and actually help you measure that job for you. We protect your business. We have voice notes, photos, 
FlexiJet takes a photo every single time you take a measurement. So you have all your backups that came from the job site. Customer sign-offs, template checklists, your own contract can be loaded in so that you know what to look for for these customers. Uh, voice notes is just one that we added recently where I can actually record a conversation I'm having with the homeowner or the contractor and share that recording with them so we both have an agreement on what needs to get done to uh, have the project go a little bit smoother. Determine plumb and level of walls for vertical applications. This is huge for large fireplaces. Again, all the showers that we're measuring. Professional on-site training included with each purchase. We fly to you instead of just you coming to us in a beautiful showroom that we've made sure everything's perfect. We will go with you to your jobs and make sure uh, you're, you're learning in your environment of where you would normally be. And again, we're helping you produce money at that time as well. Uh, measure in 3D with no added costs or upgrades. We have one model. There's no secret hidden costs. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I had to pay this much to get 3D. We don't do that. Everything is included with our base model. So problem one I hear from a lot of our potential customers and prospects is I have a digital system, but I can't trust it to be accurate. There's got to be key differences. And in this industry now with tighter tolerances and designers having amazing cool projects that I've seen throughout the show here, we have to make sure we have accuracy we can trust. When I'm measuring huge facades and fireplaces, again, 20 feet up, without going up and verifying it, I need to know and trust that it's going to be accurate. So FlexiJet has been designed with next generation laser technology. With every measurement, we take 500, I guess, measurements with it. The laser shoots 500 times and gets the reflection back for that. The industry standard right now for our competitors is 80. We find that creating peripherals on the laser, instead of only focusing on straight 90 shots, how often are you measuring straight on a 90? So we wanna focus on the peripherals and everything. We don't just have a hand laser sitting inside our device. It is a laser that has been designed with it by our company, Nito. And again, a photo of each measure point is included in the drawing, which I'll have a little example here a countertop that we have measured. And when I move my mouse over to any of these purple points that represent uh, our actual measurement points, I can see a photo with a crosshair of exactly the spot that that was taken. This can also show me a reminder of what was on the wall. Was the shower even waterproofed yet? Um, so when we are supporting our customers and somebody sends me a file, I can look at the file right away and see exactly where they could have done better and what coaching we can offer as well. As I go through this, we're going to kind of just walk through a countertop and how the photos are popping up on. So you can see as the FlexiJet is measuring, we're getting these photos real time in the kitchen. Every detail you need is there to know what direction did they offset, which direction did they go. If something changes from a designer, I can go back, look at that photo, know what that point was, redraw my kitchen from it and move forward. Problem number two that I deal with a lot. A lot of fabricators oversize pieces and they're doing all their cutting on the job site. Faucet holes, electrical plugs, making a mess, cutting it in the driveway. These are just all time consuming objects, okay? Time is the most important asset that any of us have. When it comes to measuring, I'm okay being there an extra hour, but I don't want my installers being there for that extra hour. Time is money for them. When you have a system that can truly handle 2D and 3D, and you can make sure waterfall legs are perfectly in line, that your overhangs are perfectly in there, that you can perfectly measure an electrical plug and actually project those points back out, we can get very, very detailed when we need to match things up and make sure the miters are perfect on there. Here's a perfect example of a 3D model on the side of this bathroom, but then when I send it over to my CNC, everything will be laid out perfectly in 2D for me without me having to break it apart. And we work off of planes, we do not work off of manual entries. So I'm not entering offsets, I'm actually offsetting planes and making sure that they match up with each other. Here's another bathroom we did recently. This was day two of our training where we measured this bathroom, all the pieces to go with it. Inside the shower, all around, everything had to be bookmarked and perfect. And this customer bought the system specifically for this job so that we can do it together. Really, really cool work. And I'm really happy with how everything came together. 
Number three, I struggle to accurately relocate for large commercial projects. So being able to move your system to a new position to gain better measuring points and vantage points is a huge key that we have with the FlexiJet. I have a cell phone app that you can use to control the FlexiJet. We also use an Xbox remote control, which is super helpful connecting with the millennials in the world today and making sure they're excited about their job. Um, if it makes them excited and gets them to do a good job, it's perfect. But being able to use a remote control and dial in on a point so that you can leapfrog to a new position is a key, key aspect when you're doing full bathrooms and shower surrounds. We also love to interact with technology. So here I have a colleague of mine who's struggling to measure a full height backsplash, which actually should be pretty easy, but he's got to have a level, he's got a square, he's got his line laser there. It's just way too complicated for somebody. Uh, and he can't hold the tape measure properly anyway. So, But when we look at using an optional hand laser, just as an accessory, ordered off of Amazon, just a nice Leica hand laser, where I can actually steal that measurement and draw it into our software. So one of the struggles with a laser templating system is getting it at the perfect height so I can measure a countertop as well as a full height backsplash. But right now I'm going to measure on side the laser and it's actually going to, through Bluetooth, take that vertical measurement and it's going to draw it into the software for me. This is how we've integrated with Leica and with their Bluetooth technology to come right into our software and be able to draw that. This can be used in so many different scenarios, but we love to show this for full height backsplashes. Then with a little bit of CAD work, we're able to get our design together and you will have a super, super accurate full height backsplash. Here's another little project we did as part of training where we had a whole shower inside and then a surround going out and around a mirror. Being able to get multiple locations on this, see how level the walls are, making sure everything's adding up are key things. Again, I can see the whole model in 3D, but again, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna separate it into 2D pieces just by exporting it. Um, I threw this on here because we like to call it FlexiJet Yoga. Right? Our tripod can maneuver to pretty much any position to help get proper vantage points. We do a lot of outdoor architectural stone as well. Um, if we're worried about the laser not being bright enough outside, we actually have a pair of glasses that enhance it. But also there's a camera built in on the screen that I can actually see where the measurement point is as well. Here's a four-sided fireplace that we did where all we really had to gather is the high point on all four sides. Once I had the high points, I was able to create a perfect box out of that and offset it for the material thickness and the thin set that was gonna be used here. And we had all the perfect miters on there. We even extended one of the sides a little bit further to make sure that the fireplace box was perfectly symmetrical on the inside there. Helped a friend of mine here with a column that he was measuring. Um, he was not a digital shop yet, so he did this all manually but I was able to get a seam all the way around all four sides because I'm using the 3D um, workspace where I can just have a line go around regardless of how level the floor is or how level the ceiling is. Common issues we find, you can see on the top of the photo here, we have some uh, joists coming out of the ceiling that can sometimes be a little bit twisted. And again, being able to move around and gather everything, but also understand how far the wall is out so that I know where to actually measure on those beams. So we're actually gonna be offsetting planes and projecting laser points out to gather this data. One of the biggest things I've seen today is these neo-angle fireplaces. They're very, very popular right now. And a lot of people are struggling on how do I get these planes? How do I get everything together? Um, how do I design them? How do I get those angles out of the software? This is also a benefit of 3D software, is that I'm gonna have the 2D planes that I can move in different directions and get those actual miter angles for my technicians that are actually programming the CNCs. Nice little shower example here with a, a niche box. We're gonna to need to do a lot of gathering from on the inside of the shower, but also when we move to the outside of the shower to make sure we can get that pony wall all measured in, right? Um, these are generally taking about 20 minutes to gather that data, right? Here's one 
you can see on the left side, there's about a heat map on there. These are all the points that the FlexiJet automatically took a measurement to tell me how level the wall is. Um, and you can see this was a very well-built wall because all of them are green, except for a little bit in the center there, which there was a spot popping out. So this helped us just figure out how to do these. This was day one of training, it took about 15 minutes to measure, and they said they've never had a job go in easier. We call these stealth islands, uh, a term I, I learned from our group in the UK, where we have just really weird angles on different desks. So again, using our planes in our 3D software, I can create free planes and actually ask the software to show me where they connect. We can add a thickness to them for material and ask them to connect again and then rotate through and get those miter angles that we need for this. Very, very simple and easy to do inside our software. If anybody has ever traveled to Toronto and gone to the CN Tower, we have some desks here that were at the CN Tower. Again, just some really interesting angles. Um, to make sure we're gathering everything together and completing them at the same time. Again, something like this, you'd be looking at maybe 20 to 30 minutes getting it all put together in CAD. I was able to visit a job for a stone ceiling. Uh, I'd love to show you the rest of the photo, but I'm not allowed to. <laughs> um, and then the one on the right is actually just a fun little job that we had a customer called us and said, I really need help with this vanity because they walked in thinking it would be a simple job and ended up with a boulder on the ground. So we actually had to use the FlexiJet technology to create a plane, offset the plane, and then ask the FlexiJet to scribe it for us. They just have to under bevel the, the, the stone, but they were able to fit it right to the rock exactly like that. Right. For the ceiling, the magic was all in the install. We just had to measure the ceiling for it. But again, when you start getting into backlit, when you start getting in design, you want it to be symmetrical. You want to make sure that that's exactly centered to the room. We're going to be able to do that with all of our projection tools, as well as the, the measuring gathering tools. Here's a set of stairs. 200 slabs of stone went into the stairway to make sure each step was wrapped and book matched, as well as columns on the top and all the walls going around it. Being able to relocate on each step and go up and gather everything from multiple angles is where the true precision of the FlexiJet helps out on a lot of these projects. Are there any questions that I could answer? Any thoughts, any problems that people are facing here, they want to know if we would have a solution for it. Sometimes it can be done on a water jet machine. It's definitely helpful. Um, we have some really tight scribes to like culture stone that you would want a water jet. Um, if you have it, it makes it a little bit easier, but definitely not a, not a muscle. A lot of these are just a five axis bridge saw. One of the good things I like too is being able to take a line in the software click on it and say, what's the tolerance on this back wall? And the software would actually say the tolerance is an eighth. So I go, oh, we're just going to cut it straight. There, there's, there's no reason to think about it. But if it says 5 sixteenths, I might say, okay, let's do a relief cut and we're going to run it on our CNC. So being able to make these logical decisions, um, anytime I can cut it straight instead of a CNC or a water jet, I'm just saving money. But you'll be able to tell and be like, no, hey, this has to go to the water jet so it can be perfect. Any other questions I can help with? I'm free here. I'll be at the booth. We've got our trained staff there. Um, I'm happy to come by if you want to touch the machine, if you want to use it, if you want to shoot a few things and see how simple and easy it is to use, or you just want to come over and play with the Xbox remote control. I'm happy with that too. Currently, like major repairs go back to Germany, but we do have a service center in Kentucky that we would do our basic service here. But one of the things I love is we can remotely log in and check the calibration of the system. Um, so if you did drop it, we could say, does it need service? We also have a lot of templators that may want to blame the laser first when really it was their mistake. And we can check it and say, hey, everything looks good here. Let's start looking at the file. Let's find out where we went wrong. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much for coming by. I'm happy to be a resource anytime if you ever have questions about templating in general.